Okay, happy, happy, happy day. This is Deborah Danielson, Deb's OG. And you may recall that last, I think on Mother's Day, I gave a shout out to some very special mothers that I think were long overdue and deserving for some recognition. Well, today, I would like to call out some of my fans that have been especially inspiring to me that I think are really great, not only moms, but human beings. I mean, I think these women inspire anybody around them. So Denise is the first one I want to call out. And Denise, I love, I love your videos. I, I love your photographs. But most of all, I love your heart. Why is that? Because I don't care what I've been going through or what you've been going through, we have had some amazing conversations and it just feels like we connect. And I think everybody has moments in their life. Everybody shares kind of the same things, a lot of the same trials and tribulations. So thank you for being a great friend. Thank you for being a great listener. I hope the flooding down south <laughs> gets much better. I'm praying for you and yours. I, I just, I love your heart and thank you for everything that you've done. I do appreciate that. Another woman that I think is so amazing is Suzanne Fladell. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But Suzanne is always just such a happy, positive, motivating force. And I just think that the world is lighter and blessed because she is shining bright. So thank you. Suzanne, and another woman that I would like to call out because sometimes I don't think she realizes how beautiful she is or how much she's loved by other people and that all these other people around her are just amazed by her tenacity, her fortitude, and her go forward, I'm going to do this, kind of take the mountain <laughs> approach. <clears throat> and she does this in the face of adversity. So I want to recognize Kimble Kimberly Keeper. And I want to recognize that this woman faces adversity just like the rest of us have faced adversity. And I just want to say God bless you. And keep up the good work. I know everybody loves you and is counting on you. So... Kisses, loves, and hugs to these fans. And thank you for loving me back and for being such an inspiration. Now, I know that these COVID times are just not really the best and we're not all happy and we're all self-isolating and all of this happy stuff. And thank God that we can do that so that we're alive and healthy. I'm not complaining. But, you know, I feel fat. I... <laughs> I think I've put on 15 pounds and my my pants are screaming. And so I put on a pair of my leggings the other day, my really nice ones. And I was going to do a nice little video <laughs> and my zipper blew out. So that, you know, that's like your first warning sign that get up, get off the couch, get moving, go outside, go in the basement, wherever you got a little space and start exercising. So I guess I've been guilty of getting a little bit depressed or down about this whole COVID thing. So I'm bringing out some inspiration. So I'm gonna talk about my top three personal happy fragrances <laughs> that I love, that no matter what, when I put them on, it puts me in a good mood and it, it motivates me. So this one here, um, is Island by Michael Kors. And you can see, I don't have that much left because I really like this stuff. This is a very good spring and summer fragrance. And that's because when you spray it on, it smells like you are in a tropical island. Like you're ready to go get on a private jet and shut off to this romantic rendezvous. Um, with somebody that you love or a special person and have just a hell of a good time. Have a margarita, you know, put your feet in the sand and feel the sun on your face. So that is my 
you know, my go-to right now because it is so beautifully trying to be spring. My next favorite, and this bottle I bought quite a bit ago, but yeah, when the airports were open and, and I was coming through, I think it was um, Charles de Gaulle Airport in France, in Paris, and I was doing a connection. Anyway, duty free, duty free. We're all about duty free. This is called Light Blue, Dolce Gabbana. I love this fragrance. Now this I could wear year round. I don't care where I'm going or what I'm doing. This is light. It is sensual. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of intriguing too. And it's funny because when I was buying this in the airport, one of these Arab shakes walked by me and I just sort of feel like every time I put this on, I feel sort of like Middle Eastern, <laughs> kind of mysterious. And it just, it's just a really beautiful fragrance and I hope you'll try it, any of these if you haven't. Now this one here is amazing. So if I'm gonna have like a really special date night, this is the one, it's called, it's by Cartier. And um, on the front of the bottle, I have to put my glasses on. It says, Ooh, Ooh de Cartier, Ooh de Cartier. That's what's on it. And I will tell you that this is classic. And this is classic sex in a bottle to me. <laughs> That's what it is. I love this fragrance. And when I put it on, somehow it transforms who I am. I just, you know, there's a lot of power in that thought, in the thought process. So as man thinks, so he becomes, right? Or he or she. All I can tell you is, is when I put on that fragrant, fragrance, it is like, okay, I'm going to get out my nicest dress or my sexiest leggings. I'm going to strut my stuff and get my man and we're going to have fun and we're going to enjoy and dance and we're going to kiss and we're going to have romance. So that's the kind of fragrance that is. So those are my top three that I recommend. A lot of you think um, that maybe you can't afford these. Well, let me tell you something. I, I used to think the same thing, but here's how I operate. I'd rather have one or two really good fragrances that are kind of like trademark for myself, my inspiration to myself, and just kind of skip over the cheap stuff that anybody can buy and that anybody can have. And, you know, I used to buy my fragrances at Walmart or Sam's Club or whatever. And Sam's Club does have some very good selection of fragrances. Um, I've bought some Marc Jacobs there. What else have I bought there? I think I've bought, yeah, Dulce Gabbana. But <clears throat> they're kind of limited on what they carry and when they carry it. But, you know, a little bit of this goes a long way. So it's not like you're going to have to put it on every single day. And it's not like you're going to, you know, use this up in like a New York minute. So I think this bottle with this size, I think I've actually had this bottle of fragrance five years. <clears throat> so you can see I don't take a bath in it, <laughs> but I do like to wear it for special occasions. So I would highly recommend any of those three. Now, the next thing I wanted to chit chat about today is I just released my new latest single called Grandma's Love. And, and you guys are loving it. And I really, really want to tell all my fans, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm so, so grateful that Sophia released her new single. And that was also on the same day. And that was also Friday. And, you know, I think she did, she did an amazing job on this cover song. It was her inspiration. <clears throat> for her um, bestie, best friends, and all of this has been something coming out of her. And so I just want to say Grandma's Love is meant to be a love song, and it's meant to be a love song at a time where there's a lot of change going on and a lot of uncertainty in our lives. 
And I just felt like the world needed to hear something more loving, more positive, and we need to put people first. And people are the reason for everything we should be doing. So love, love of your family, love of your children, your grandchildren, all of this is what makes memories, what makes your life worth living. And let's face it, if you don't have a family, and I don't care if it's blood family or work family or some kind of family, people that you love that you've collected, <laughs> or let's say, um, I don't know, you know, I couldn't make it. I need, I need people, I need fans, and I, I need that friendship and that bond with my friends, my friends, my fans, my family. It's all very important to me. So thank you for being supportive and thank you for streaming and downloading Grandma's Love. And if you haven't heard it yet, um, we've got it right here on YouTube. I've got out the music video for the lyrics because of COVID we're not filming right now, but I'm hoping that in July sometime that we might be able to get a few things filmed and we're going to try to film me dancing, doing a street dance, and we're going to try to do some fun things so that number one, it can lift your spirits. Number two, it can motivate you. And number three, I want everybody to be inspired. Why? Believe in yourself. Believe in who you are. Go chase your dreams. Don't let anybody squash your dreams. And just go for it. You deserve it. You're wonderful. And if you have dreams, don't hide them anymore. And don't hide that talent that you've got that you secretly want to get out there. Don't do that. Just get out there and do it. Be it, see it, do it. Anyways, love all of you. Have a happy, happy week. And stay motivated and stay positive. God bless.